Hello. I'm Isai. Welcome back to Rant's Quest Magnum. So, instead of editing the video, the last video, I decided to just make a new episode right now. And after this, I'll just edit the video and let it random while, render while I sleep. And then upload the video. So, yeah, this is still Friday. I got about an hour and 30 minutes maybe before I go to bed. Since I, I sleep at a really reasonable time ever since I started going to the gym. But yeah. Uh, we left off at a very cliffhanger. And Ran suddenly not being able to fuck girls. That was pretty funny. Let's start us off with the trivia. Let's open the five trivias as usual. Or not really as usual, but you know. Which is what I want to do. Bird Lithy. Adventurer 24. He might have amounted to something if he hadn't met Rance. He spitted with a prosthetic arm to replace one he lost in an incident many years ago. And he can switch it out for a drill or a robo arm as well. It's kind of cool actually. 19. Sil. Falls in love at first sight but gets rejected. 19. Kyoko. Enters a relationship but forgets about her in no time at all. That's in Rance 02. 20. Kisara. Was his girlfriend but was stolen by Rance. 20. Kapandan. Was his girlfriend, but was stolen by Rans. 23. Arms. Falls in love with her, but she doesn't give him the time. 24. Matilda. He recently started dating. <laughs> Alright, next one. Suzume. Suzume. Kunoichi, 19. A super genius Kunoichi who can do just about anything. The most talented in all of Nippon. She came from the Iga village to assassinate Rans in LP5. LP is the year that they're cur currently on. I told you guys that the last year was Yi. Or a couple of um, Rance videos ago, I told you guys that the, the calendar in Rance, uh, the yearly ca calendar, is based on the Demon King. Right now, LP5 is like Little Princess uh, Year 5. So the previous Demon King just, uh, just died not too long ago. But lost the will to kill him, since he's stupid, perverted, and fun. Since being with Rance was so much fun, she joined his army and left her old life behind. She's been by his side since. She hates the gloomy, dark underworld of the ninja of the ninja and wants to live a bright, vibrant life. She has complete immunity to poisons, but that also means her body's unaffected by medicine. Companion Dot, leader of the Cop Copan Empire. 29. It doesn't look like it. Oh damn, some of these I actually have to censor. Oh shit. <laughs> I just realized some of these I have to censor. Damn. All right. All right. I see you, game. Born to a shrine in Portugal, in the free city zone. It's a long story, but now she's a multi-millionaire. Blessed with a talent for fortunes, she mistook how to use her abilities and stumbled upon Rance while on a journey to find a man with great luck. At the time, she was 25 year. She was a 25-year-old virgin, eager to marry. Instead, she lost her virginity to Rance. And as if having sex with her, uh, with Rance, gave her luck of her own, she took advantage of the rebellion in Zeth in LP4 to make a killing on the stock market. She then bought three city-states with the proceeds, uniting them under, the, under her banner. Now, she's after Rance and only Rance, and has stopped, stated her intention to buy him one day for 100 sextillion gold. Belongings, high-speed four, co four cow couch? Coach? Gifted one to Rance, too. Magic cell phone, exclusively luxury item. Frostbine and Tama. Great Witch Frostbine, a great witch who lived on the floating city of Yalapu. This is in Rance 4. She met Rance in LP, LP2 when he was transported there. At the time, she was attempting to perfect her Athena series of ideal artificial beings. She's currently planning model Athena 4.0. Monster Cat Tama. Frostbine's assistant, she's got a nasty mouth. She looks young, but she's actually a monster cat who's been around for many decades. She'll occasionally go into, into heat, and even sleep with Rant, and even slept with Rant once. She found a boyfriend after coming to Sedate, Tetsuo. Various, progression, playing the game. Character, progression, playing the game, the early game. Character ranking, first place Rant. Character ranking 2nd place Sachiko Centers. Character ranking 3rd place Izume. Character ranking 4th place Prima Honoman. Okay, this is just a record for my record. I thought it was a record of, you know, of 
like uh, the most popular male character or something. I thought, um, but I guess not. Um. All right, now that we're done with that, let's continue on with the story, shall we? So what should we do? Malgrit Dungeon for Stratum, a giant dungeon said to be the largest in the world. For Stratum, B1 to B1F to B10F, a great place to make a killing or just do some killing. Don't spend more than 600 gold on snacks. All who would challenge it are welcome. Damn, Magnum bonus, that's... I guess this is what they added on Magnum to make grinding easy. Oh, let's do this one, it's zero difficulty zero. That's probably the quest one. The queen cast the abstinence more ruin on me. I've been cursed with a body that can't have sex? No way, that can't fucking be. I'm gonna do something about that. Sedate, in, Rance's room. Ran sat in a chair, Suzume kneeling before him. The two each had grave expressions on their faces. Well? Suzume poked and prodded at Rance's flabby member. Fuck, seriously? Whoa, wait a minute! What the fuck are you gonna do with that? Suzume's eyes were locked on to Rance's member. No way! I don't want that! You'll kill my hyper weapon! Ugh, this is scary! I, I, I got it! I got it, so just do it really fast! No, never mind, don't do it! Don't you fucking do it! No, actually do it! Really quick! Ugh. Oh, good job, Suzume! So how's my hyper weapon doing? Ah, are you kidding? Ugh. I lost to an 18 year 80 year old grandpa? Ugh. Will I never be able to have sex again? My dandy adult super cool erotic life! Alice's Mansion <laughs> Will there ever be an all-ages version of the Rant series? <laughs> oh my god, some people actually said this before. Make it all-ages so that you can stream it on Twitch. That's so stupid. But they did make a patch, like Manga Gamer did make a patch for Sengoku Rants. And I did stream it on Twitch for a couple of, a couple of days. I thought I heard some vile slander for a second there. Fuck. I'm not gonna lose to this. Sachiko! Get out your ass. I'm fulfilling our promise today and taking your virginity. Just shut up and do as I say. Sachiko tumbled to the ground. Huh. Women are everywhere. Whoa! Where are they? Where are they? Where are the women? Huh. There's one. Kampandon! Rance pushed through Kampandon's black suited bodyguards and grabbed her shoulder. We're gonna fuck. I wanna fuck you. It's no good, huh? I can't get it up for you. Tch, whatever. There are other women. Ah! Women! Where are they? Yeah, not this one either. Mary and Sue are no good either. Fuck! Sedate evening. It's all over. I found every single woman I've had sex with in this town, and I couldn't do it with any of them. If I can't have sex with girls, what am I even living for? Am I doomed to become gay? It can't be. The cows of the crows are piercing. 
<sighs> I can't do it with Suzume either. I'm going to bed. Don't wake me up. After a while, Suzume silently left the room, but Rance didn't even notice. Hidden under his blankets, Rance groaned in his sleep. Ugh. No! Girls! Ugh. I don't want to live in a world where I can't have sex with girls. Ugh. Nah? Hmm? What? My dick is... My dick is warm? Is someone sucking my dick? Oh! Who's there? It's like a dream. Uh, huh? M morning? What? So that was all a dream? Rance held his head in his hands. Uh, what a pathet pathetic dream. Uh, Rance hurriedly flipped open his blanket. And he carefully checked his crotch. Hmm. Hmm. It was a wet dream. Warm light sh shone into the room, and the bustle of the town could be heard through the window. Rance's crotch alone was ice cold. This is it. So Rance thought. It's time. It's time to die. I think that's all the preparation needed. The rope is strong enough. It'll support my weight. All I've got to do now is hang myself. <sighs> I'm even perfect at dying. I have no attachment to this world anymore if I can't fuck girls in it. Well... See ya. Rance slowly passed his head through the rope. What the? Oh, it's just Konami. It's over. Everything's over. It's fine. There's no point in living if I can't have sex with girls. It's time for me to die. <laughs> Konami was fidgeting, her head down, but she suddenly lifted it and said... Rance snapped his fingers, coming to a realization. Oh! I've just gotta find him! That's right, that's right, that's right! I can still have sex with girls who are over level 35. Huh! It was that simple! Alright, just wait! All the girls in the world! Yeah. <laughs> hey, get back here, Konami! How lucky for you! You're the first woman I'm going to put through my strict selection process. So? How about it? You over level 35? If you are, then strip. Konami vanished back above the ceiling. Ah, she ran away. Well, it doesn't matter. Konami's always by my side. Oh, I don't have time for this. I've got to go get ready to go out and find some high-leveled women. Renzo fared himself, his armor clanking. <laughs> got a plan now. I'm gonna find all the beautiful, strong women in the world and fucking, fucking, fucking fuck the crap out of them. Just wait. All the beautiful girls I haven't met yet. <laughs> Man, Renz is so simple-minded, dude. Renz left the inn laughing ga ha 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 as he, as he went. Someone watched him from the window. He sure does. He sure does, Suzume. And with that, we opened a lot of quests right there. Alright, we should do ones that are easy first. Ninja Art Dysfunction Treatment. I can't fuck because of this stupid curse, but I'm sure Suzume can do something about it with our mystery... or mastery of erotic ninja arts. The mysterious powers of the Orient will help me have sex with Suzume. Sure, why not? Sedate, Rance's room. Suzume was stroking and pinching Rance's hyper weapon. How is it, Suzume? <sighs> Thought so. Damn it! There isn't a single woman over level 35 in this town. What am I supposed to do with this dick of mine? 
Ah, you're useless. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Hmm. You're a genius Kanoichi, right? So, like, is there some crazy ninja technique? Maybe she'll come out with some great technique if I provoke her. I guess Kunoichi aren't worth much then. I'm disappointed. Thought you'd be able to do more. <sighs> what an embarrassment. If you can't do anything with my dick, maybe you should just get in this kitchen and make me a sandwich instead. <laughs> oh my god, Rance. <laughs> We're down to doing this, huh? If that frustrates you, show me some technique, why don't you? If you can, that is. So you can't do anything, can you? Can't you test all those ways then? Tazume's last resort. Oh really? Do it. Right now. Ejaculate, ejaculate. Woohoo! Tazume strolled out of the room. So? Why don't you turn off the light source, Izume? I can't see anything. All he could hear in the dark room was the sound of Suzume rustling around. Che, hurry up and do it already. He heard a quiet breath come from Suzume's mouth as she started to concentrate. And the next time she opened her mouth, it wasn't to speak with her usual casual tone. He could hear her rustling like she was moving her hands. Hmm? What's the smell? Is she burning incense or something? An alluring sweet scent filled Rance's nostrils. It spread rapidly through the room as if to soak into his brain. With a foosh, several candles lit the room. Suzume stamped her foot on the floor, her clothes waving about. Damn, that's a sexy outfit. She danced like a spirit, beautifully, as if there were a, a rhythm to her movements that only she could hear. Oh, I was a little surprised. No, more importantly, his eyes were first drawn to Suzume's appearance, the clothes she was wearing. To describe them simply, they were modified, see-through Miku, Miku clothes. The thin fabric like a cicada's wing, cicada's wings, showed Suzume's breasts faintly through it. On the bottom, the hem was short so was short so that Suzume flashed rants as she could dance about. It, it's all see-through? <laughs> this is good. Now then. Oh. Oh, what? I can't move. Hey, Suzume. You used some paralysis spell, didn't you? Remove it right now. Let me touch you. Suzume giggled, her eyes narrowing. There was no laughter in them, however. Ignoring Rant, Suzume moved on her feet, dancing gracefully. When Suzume's feet hit, feet hit the floor, Rance could feel the vibrations with his butt. The mysterious tools for the ritual rang out in her hands. Suzume spun in a beautiful dance about the room. With each step, her breasts swayed. She enticed Rance with glimpses under her short hand. Suzume looked down at Rance with her narrowed eyes. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Stupid Suzume! It's a nice show, but I don't want to just watch. Suzume stamped hard on the floor. <laughs> My dick's kind of tingling now. Huh? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> My dick's tingling. What the heck's going on? Rance's dick started twitching with the strange sensation. <laughs> It's stronger now. I'm gonna burst. Something's gonna burst. Oh? My dick! His dick evolved from a dick to a hyper weapon. It soared high to the heavens. Tall, strong, and heroic. This is Suzume's technique. Holy crap! His hyperweapon throbbed grotesquely, asserting itself gallantly. So? 
What happens next? Suzume danced, purposely exposing herself to, ra to Rance. Her breathing suddenly grew hot, sweet, and lewd. Oh, Suzume's lower mouth is opening up. What? Is she getting excited? Her cheeks were flush, her eyes soft and longing. It was as if the sweet pink fumes in the room were coming from Suzume herself. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Suzume's excited. Each time her foot hit the ground, her skin grew hotter, as if the pleasure was growing stronger and her sweat made her clothing even more sheer. Her nipples poked shyly into the fabric, and her breasts swayed seductively. Ugh. I can't take this! If she's showing me this... Hmm? My, my bodies! An intense itchy desire enveloped his entire abdomen. Ugh. My body's hot! I, I can't stop sweating! I'm thirsty too! Whoa, what is this? The hyper weapon jumped up and down like a wild creature. As it jumped, Rikam sprayed around. It was already an incredible amount of fluid, gushing out to show his excitement. Ugh, my dick's tingly. I want to touch it. If I put it in a woman right now. Hey, Suzume, what are you giggling about? Of course I am! I'm paralyzed me already. Ugh, stop it! Stop it! I want to do it even more now! Suzume twisted her hips longingly as she danced, rubbing her thighs together restlessly. The glimpses Suzume was flashing him did indeed look wet and glistening, and she smelled sweet. Suzume's eyes narrowed to slits, never left Rance's hyper weapon. Suzume's eyes stared, fiery with lust, at the hyper weapon. Whoa! Whoa! This might be the first time I've seen Suzume so excited. Ugh. She's stamping again. Huh? Hmm? You notice something different right away. Ugh. My dick itches! It was an intense itch, as if countless mosquitoes were swarming his hyper weapon and sucking his dick. Oh, sucking his blood, sorry. <laughs> it's gonna break! I'm gonna go crazy! <laughs> the hyper weapon was throbbing much harder, building up heat as if something was gathering from inside him. <laughs> My dick! The sweet scent from Suzume reached his nose. His head was spinning. Suddenly, her footfalls grew lighter, and they felt different than her earlier stamping. Something like a gentle, sweet electricity flowed into his hyper weapon. <sighs> it tingles. This feels good. Magma was gathering in the tip of his hyper weapon. Hey, stop it, Suzume. Stop, stop. Suzume laughed with narrowed eyes. I kind of feel like I'm starting to feel good. Soft footfalls. At that moment, it felt like all the blood in his body had collected between his legs. All of it suddenly pushed its way through his dick. Whoa! Everything inside Rance exploded hot, high and hard from his hyper weapon. What is this? My hips! My hips are gonna burst! <laughs> this feels too good! Rance's violent orgasm continued, dirtying even the far reaches of the room. As the heat and the smell of the semen rained down on her, Suzume shuddered. She frowned and trembled in orgasm, stifling any, any loud noise. Her hot voice melted into the room. Suzume lowered her head, her eyes soft and her body still quivering.
<laughs> Hold on! What the heck was that? I thought I was gonna die. But man, it felt really good. Well, it might be alright every once in a while. Just maybe. Wait, that's not it. It's not it. I want... Right. So? Hmm. I can't do something so pathetic. <laughs> Don't mock my 23 year age rant. Don't mock me. But wait. I thought this meant I was cured. I was tricked. No. Shit. I'll just have to keep going as I plan and find girls who are over level 35. So first, I'll need information. Where can I find strong ladies? Huh? Eh? Suzumat suddenly collapsed. The next day. Sedate, Rance's room. Uh... Hmm. 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 <clears throat> Tantan Tanukian. Suzume popped her head out from the ceiling. Yo. Suzume hopped down from the attic. So what was that about last night, Suzume? Don't you unya me? Collapsing like that. It was a lot of work getting a doctor to look at you and carrying you around and stuff. Don't just laugh it off. Was it like that technique from last night? Use a bunch of your stamina or something? Oh. Well, I guess it was a pretty serious technique. I guess we won't do it anymore then. I'm more into doing the trust thing myself after all. I think it's not really my style. You did something that dangerous to me? Hmm. N no, it didn't feel good at all. So don't ever do it again. <laughs> Suzume is a fun girl. I like her. Alright, level 12, level 13, level 10. A request from Frostbine. A large plot of land she just purchased can't be used due to soil pollution. She wants you to eliminate the contaminants. Alright, I think we can do this one. We're pretty high level for it. Sedate, Frostbine shop. France was holding a vibrator up in front of Sachiko and Tama. This is an item called the vibrator, and it's a symbol of masculinity. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Sachiko's face turned red. <laughs> These are naughty movements to make women horny. Who knows? I can't use one, so I wouldn't know. Alright, let's do a trial run. Tell us what you think, Sachiko. He says that they've never seen a vibrator, so I'm educating them. Eh? Let's get out of here, Sachiko. <laughs> Sedate, back in vacant lot. A vast stretch of unused land extended before Rance's party's eyes. It had originally belonged to a business that was planning to construct an arena, arena there, but the firm su suddenly b went bankrupt. So the land was left there neglected, unutilized. <laughs> You'd better be grateful I'm taking on such awful work, Tama. Shut it. So what do you want us to do? Huh? What? Monsters? It's pretty extravagant to be buying up land like this, though, isn't it? <laughs> I'd rather not be working for the old bag, but I guess I've got no choice. Let's go, Sachiko. Oh, and by the way, the last th the last thing I wanted to say, like in the last episode, Rance was trying to settle down. That was the word I was looking for <laughs> in the last episode. But my brain, for some reason, couldn't fathom what, what it was trying to say. Alright, let's beat up some enemies. 
So this is a soil pollution, huh? Yeah, I want to kill it just looking at it. What an irritating creature. What comes out the other end? Yeah. I'm going home. I'm not gonna fight these things, dumbass. I'll lose all my dignity. Soil pollution bounced by in front of them. It screamed and flew toward Rance's party. Oh, shit! Tama ran off at full speed. Rance dodged by a hair, and Sachiko blocked with her shield. Soil pollution ran by, instantaneously spewing out what it was eating from its behind. I'll kill them. Everyone who tries to cover me in shit dies! Shut up and come with me. Rance grabs Sachiko by the shoulder. Ta! Sachiko Barrier! <laughs> That's very funny. Alright, let's do this, Rance. Alright, Rance can one-shot them, which is awesome. Nice job. Very good. That's one. That's number two. Soil pollution was gobbling up some earth. <laughs> Cootie attack! Oh, attack, attack, attack! <laughs> Damn, they actually do quite some damage. I mean, not like a lot, but still quite a bit. Rand still one-shots them, though. He's so good. This is why he's main character, man. Main character status. Alright. Oh, come on! What's with the misses there? Come on, girl. Damn, yeah, they, they do quite a bit. If they hit, like, Suzume or something, they do quite a bit. There's still nothing to Rance, though. He's really good. Nice. Level 16, I think, for Rance? 15, okay. Not bad. Alright, skip those. Damn, that, didn't, that guy didn't die. Fuck. Man, you're useless. Yeah, this quest is pretty easy, and they actually give pretty decent experience. I think this is the last one we need to kill. Damn, didn't die again. Damn you! Alright, good. Damn, these guys have really good evasion, or my, my hit rate is just bad. Alright, good job, Mega Death. <laughs> yep, that's about it. <laughs> and the job's done. <laughs> More compliments. <laughs> Ten? <laughs> Liar! I bet you pocketed it. <laughs> Just shut up and give me the money. <laughs> so how much is it really? Tama puffed up her cheeks. <laughs> Alright, hand it over. <laughs> wow, she was trying to get 490 from us. What a bastard. No way. And even that's still cheap. <laughs> it's not enough. It's 100 years too soon for you to be pushing me around for this chump change. So? You're gonna pay with your body. Come on, just strip already. No way, no way. Bad girls like you get stripped naked and dragged around as punishment. <laughs> strip, strip! Huh? Hmm, let's see. Alright then, give me this land. <laughs> Fucking right. 
Yeah, I get it, I get it, fine. Sheesh. This is the biggest compromise I'm willing to make. Half of it. That's fine, isn't it? It's just half. It's so big. I can have that much, right? Half of 500 gold is only 250. It's not that much, right? Alright, then it's settled. Sure. I'm on left, skipping. <laughs> That dumb cat doesn't know shit about profit and loss. What is it, Sachiko? Don't be stupid. Why would I waste it like that? I'm gonna build my castle here. My dream is to have my own castle. I decided that a long time ago. I decided to use it for that a few minutes ago. Well, I'm sure a woman wouldn't understand. Anyway, I've got the land. All I need to do now is build the castle. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Harvesting season. Alright. Monomi's almost max level. Man, she's so bad. She's technically not that bad, but because her max level is so low, it makes her really bad. Harvesting season is level 14. Ma Mahoko must participate and be level 20. She's like level 4! Mahoko's humble tale, the minor nation of Strazen, is on the verge of a fatal crisis. Now, Mahoko stands to save them. Bizon Strazen. I can't do this one. She's way too low leveled. This one's level 12. Let's do this one. Oh, can I get Kama yet? I need to defeat 4 more Galmon. Okay. A request from an unpopular squidman. The cool kids' squids are keeping everyone's beloved kraken to themselves. Take care of them. Alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting requests from monsters now. Squid, squid, squid dungeon. Is it? Loser squidman. Rants have come to squid, squid, squid dungeon, home of many squidmen, in response to a certain request. Uh-huh. Why am I taking a Squidman's request? What a bother. Nothing. Just hurry up and explain to me the quest. Hmm? So, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Fuck, why do I gotta go along with this lower life form stupid ass ass plan? Uh huh. <laughs> Rand is totally gonna do what you said, Mr. Squidman. Yeah, totally. He's gonna do it. 100%. Okay, an item. Touch me with your slimy tentacles. That's gross, you inferior being. What is it? I forgive you. Tell me. I see. So I should kill those guys too, huh? Well, they're weaklings, but three times might be annoying. Poor squidmen who are trying to get a girlfriend or, them or themselves are much better than this coward. Well, they're just lower life forms, so what do I care? I think this is one. <laughs> Take the fucker down, boss. <laughs> okay. Damn. Alright, nice job. Oh, I should have just shoot again there. Ah, it's okay. Alright, that's one. Ah, oh, come on, Suzume! I, I think that's the first time you guys saw Suzume fail there. But yeah, that's what happens when you fail. You sort of just lose your um, HP. That's all, really. Oh, 
All right, level up for Prima. Prima's almost capped too. And these guys are chumps. Damn, no one shot. It's not good rants. All right, sure again. There you go. All right, that's three. Now we just need to find a uh, girl, wherever she is. Oh, that, there, is there four? Huh. Ah, oh, come on, Suzume! I guess there's four. All right, um, let's beat them all up. Um. Damn. Oh shit, okay. I messed up there. Alright, I think that's good. I think we can kill the Kraken now. My tentacles. What? Whatever, loser, Squidman. The Squidman's tentacle pointed toward a Gal monster, a Kraken. Alright, let's do this. I think she's dead, sir. Bye. <laughs> hey, who are you? The client Squidman stood in Rance's way. The Squidman drew closer to the collapsed Kraken. The Kraken lay unmoving and cold. That's weird. I thought I was going easy on her. Sorry. Looks like I'm too strong. Barry and I have a service or something. Whoa! The Squidman rushed at Rance. He was a shy, a loser, and a coward. Oh, he was shy, a loser, and a coward. He could never put effort into anything on his own and envied others a lot because of it. Until now, all he could do was grind his teeth in frustration at all the handsome Squidman. But in this moment, he stood up for something for the first time. Sedate, Rance's room. <laughs> it's only natural for a guy like him to die, having to get somebody else's help to get a girl. Men should learn from my example and use their own strength to get women. <laughs> And so, the Squidman's death was in vain. Thanks for the reputation, though, Squidman. Appreciate that. Speed plus two, not bad. Darkness damage minus 80%. I don't do darkness damage, so that's not bad. I need to defeat three more Gal monsters. Okay, what to do, what to do. We can do this one. I know we probably wouldn't be able to finish it though, but hmm, I guess not. Which one should we do? Idol Mage or Lion Mine? Let's read uh, both of them and try to see which one to do. Damn, it's already already 49 minutes. Damn, this game it doesn't feel like 40 mi 49 minutes, man. I swear. There's a group of uppity uglies acting like bandits. The underlings are all out of the question, but the boss has got to be a beauty. And since she's the boss, she's probably at a high level. Hellman, abandoned shopping mall. There's this super popular mage girl. She's level 40, strong, cute, and kind, or so I hear. She's adventuring with her fans again today, finding people to help. Rants, target locked. Forest, where's, where's the bread? Hmm, what to do, what to do? I can't do harvesting season. I'm gonna do idle mage. Three cities, west of red. A mage girl was standing in the middle of the road. Her na his name's Wallet. <laughs> what the fuck?
Kapala giggled, seeing the two of them get dejected after she scolded them. Kapala checked the sign. The six-person group headed by Kapala Uche set out to save the sick children. Ten minutes later, three cities west of Ren, where Kapala's party had been. <laughs> A man appeared, snickering. She came this way, right? It was Rance. A beautiful mage over level 35. Kapala Uche. A girl I can have sex with. I heard she's like an idol. That she sings and dances, so she's gotta be a win. There's no question. Rance hadn't been able to easily have sex with anyone since being cursed by Pastel. So he was always pent up. I'm a very patient person, but I'm at my limit. I'm ready to burst. Let's check the sign. Alright, Kapala's that way, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna catch her and rape her for sure! <laughs> are, we, are, we, are we playing? Man, this game... <laughs> are we sure we're the main protagonist? Not some mentally deranged guy? Freaking rants, dude, I swear to god. Damn, those guys still hit kinda hard. I dislike that fact that they still hit kinda hard. I think I should've just shirked in there. Alright, hopefully this will kill. Very nice. Not bad. Okay, it's a weapon. Oh shit. I went the wrong way. Okay. Um, who should I defeat first? I feel like I should kill this girl. Man, I can't believe Rance doesn't one-shot these honeys. I'm so sad he doesn't one-shot these honeys. Because Rance is actually real, really strong. You know? Should I Rance attack? I don't think I should. I am kind of sad though that he doesn't one-shot these honeys. I guess my Rance is just not that strong yet. Just in case Rance doesn't kill it. There we go. Yeah, I don't think that was gonna be a kill for Rance. Where are they? Rance was wandering. Hmm. This should be right. I smell a woman nearby. Okay, I should go this way. Meanwhile, that way. Paul's face darkened with sadness. Paula laughed, tears at the edges of her of her eyes. Man, these guys are hopeless. You hopeless fools! You baboons! Yourself, woman. All right, Sachiko is getting pretty good with damage. There's two enemies here that I have to fight. Sure, I'll fight two of them. <laughs> Rance suddenly appeared in front of Kapala. So you're Kapala Uche. Shut it. The six of you are in my fucking way. Nope, I won't forgive you. I won't forgive you, so let's have sex. Don't get between-
only me and Mike Apollo. <laughs> All right, I think it's safe to use uh, to use uh, Rant's attack here. Damn, that guy is tanky. Damn, these guys are pretty strong. Not bad, not bad. Actually, quite the challenge. First challenge we have in quite a while, I think. I should destroy him. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. Bye-bye. I should finish him off. You should be dead. Oh my god, that guy's tanky. Alright, we good though. Anyone else get a problem? Huh. Repent in hell. The followers lay scattered around Rance. Now then, where's Kapala? Kapala was watching Rance from behind a tree. Two of the men Rance had defeated took Kapala by the hand and ran off with her. <laughs> I won't let you get away. One of Kapala's followers clung to Rance. Oh! Don't touch my leg! Let go! I'll kill all of you! Let's beat the crap out of the three men. Damn, they got away. We're going after them. Don't think you can get away from me. Let's chase after Kapala. Is this her? Or yeah, die! Rent swung his sword again and again. Die, die, die! Kapala held her head and groaned. The old man looked at his teammate with heated eyes. One of the men took Kapala's hand and ran off. Whoa there, not so fast. He stood in Rance's way. <laughs> Out of the fucking way, Gramps! Huh? <sighs> You've got a leg in the grave already, old man. Let me get the other one for you. <laughs> well, this guy is dead. Bye-bye, Mitsugu. Totally a fair fight. Super easy. Ugh. Where's Kapala? She's not here. She escaped. Oh, shut it. This is what you get for getting in my way. A Rance kick made a clean hit on the old man. Rance defeated the old man. Ugh. We're going after Kapala again. I'm not letting her get away. Oh yeah, I saw that trap. Alright. Oh nice. Good job, Suzume. Ooh, level 3 armor. Oh, those two are. Bird and Matilda appeared before Rance. Rance kick! <laughs> Kinda pissed me off. Yo, and you were, uh... Was it multi-something? <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> hmm? Well, I don't really care about that. Bird, let me do that, chick. <laughs> she's a little rude, but she's not bad. And it looks like she's leveled up a, a little since last time. Matilda starts shadow boxing. <laughs> Come at me. I wonder if she's strong. I don't remember. Okay, she evaded that. Oh, damn, these guys are kind of strong. Oh, shit, they're level 15, huh? Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, Suzume is gonna be useless next turn, so I should probably heal up the people that are useful. Like Rance. I can finish off Matilda here. Yeah, there we go. Suzume? Nice! Oh, damn! Nice! Suzume? Last shot to do whatever she can do, and she definitely hits it. Awesome. Yeah! <laughs> I win. Now then, our standard fun time comes next. Bam! 
Should I be quiet here? I should be quiet then. <laughs> Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't be quiet. <laughs> because I forgot that Ren still can't have sex. Fuck, she's no good. Her level's not high enough. <laughs> shit. Damn. I shouldn't have expected anything. Oh well. I'll just give her the virgin check. <laughs> Ren's pulled down Matilda's pants. <laughs> she's so soft. Her mouth is annoying, but she's cute down here. Ren spread her apart with his fingers. <laughs> Hmm, looks like a virgin to me. <laughs> so you haven't made a move on her, eh, bird? <laughs> Typical bird. Alright, I'm done here. Rance let Matilda go. <laughs> I'm relieved to find out she's a virgin. <laughs> I wonder why. Listen up, bird. Get her level up before the next time we meet. Matilda fiercely pulled her pants back up. Is that how it works? And keep at it. Good, good. I'll see ya. It's a bad guy line, you know? Alright, I'm gonna put uh, Mahoko here. And Suzume, you did your job. Very good job, my girl. Very good job. Oh, Rance only has four attack. Shit! This is not good. This is actually not good. I don't know if I can finish off... Hmm, damn. Finish off the quest like this. I can't use magic attacks because these guys are invulnerable to magic attacks. Fucking honeys, man. I wish I can one-shot these guys. These Mudafukas. Oh, crap! Prima! Ah, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the turn run run out. I'm gonna switch Prima to Wood Cell. I think I should have enough to... to potentially do the final boss. Hopefully. Oh boy. Where are those guys? There we go, okay. Hopefully this will be the last one. A man and a woman ran frantically through the forest. Any moment. There he was. <laughs> Who's a brigand, you fuckface? Kapala ran. Wow. Die. <laughs> Wow, she left you to die, my dude. <laughs> she left you to die, bro. Aw, oh, crap. Hopefully I have enough to, to finish this guy off. Please, 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 please. Okay, that's pretty good damage. And Cessna should be able to finish this guy off. Hopefully. Come on, Cessna! Okay, good job, good job. Jeez, you guys. Hmm. Well, I did beat him, but... <laughs> Kapala ditched him as soon as the fight started. The man lay on the ground pathetically. The mate she'd been protecting having abandoned him. <laughs> How stupid. That woman used you as a decoy. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll take revenge for you. By defeating that woman and getting her sopping wet. <laughs> Rest, nameless warrior. Now then, I finally cornered her. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Time to break this dry spell. Where are you, Kapala? Ah, 30%. Why did I even bother? Without a scout, it's really hard for you to actually open chests that are booby-trapped. <laughs> there yeah! I found you! Rant stood in front of Kapala, blocking her path. <laughs> this game of tag is over. I defeated them all. Hey, lady. 
how can you say the, uh, that about the guys who fought for your sake? I guess so, but... Hmm. Well, whatever. I don't care as long as I get to have sex. Alright, it's time to fight! Eh? Okay. This is kinda anticlimactic. I was ready for a serious fight since she's a level 40 mage. I wanna fuck you, Kapala. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, let's go over there then. Fucking a high leveled girl. Fucking a high leveled girl. This is so stupid. <laughs> Rents pulled Kapala by the hand and to a deserted rest area and stopped. It should be good. Let's get right to it then. Rent slid around behind Kapala. <laughs> what a nice reaction. I haven't had sex with a, in a while. Sex with a level 40 girl. Rance ran his hands over Kapala's breasts. Yay! I'm gonna enjoy this. Huh? Ta! Boobies! What the hell? The moment he touched Kapala's body, Rance's hyper weapon deflated like a balloon. You're level 40, aren't you? Someday. What about now? What? I, I went to all that work to capture a high-leveled girl. And she was a slut with a reverse harem of dudes she'd deceive waiting on her? I know there aren't too many of them. That's why I was hoping you were one. <sighs> huh? What's this now? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Rance pushed Kapala down. I'll at least get my fill of your body then. Kapala's hands reached out to Rance's crotch, where it squeezed around to ascertain the feeling there. Hey, what are you? Do I have what? Something burst inside of Rance. <laughs> Rance gradually closed the distance between him and Kapala. Oh yeah! Who knows what happened to Kapala after that? <laughs> oh Jesus! Eh, that's pretty bad. That's also pretty bad. I'm just gonna donate these. And my money's not that much, huh? All right, that was a very. Oh, uh, fun quest. I really enjoyed that scene. Not because it was sexy or anything, but because it was just funny as hell. <laughs> but that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of, of Rant's Quest Magnum. I don't know how many episodes this game is going to have. It is quite long and also quite grindy, so I think uh, this might be upwards to like up to 20 hours. So maybe... Maybe 15, 20 episodes, we'll see. I might have to do this for the whole month. But, uh, I don't know. It is a very fun game, though, and I'm enjoying it a lot. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it, too. And I'll see you on the next episode tomorrow. Rants Daily episodes? I, I, I don't mind doing it. I enjoy playing Rants every day, too. <laughs> I'm gonna cherish this moment, though. See ya!